Tony says Banana Hand is unable to let go and allow his players to make plays. He didn't call. He's a pessimistic. I don't know what that means. And the, those two factors are why Tony's <laughs> talking. Uh, yeah, you know, he is a pessimistic guy. He's relentlessly negative. To me, he is the he's a lot like John Gruden, who I never respected Ooh. as a coach. And this is like before the email stuff, but just Gruden as a coach, negative, constantly in his quarterback's face on the sideline after plays. Like, dude, it's not about you. Would you empower him and not run him? To me, I never liked Gruden. Uh, and Shanahan is very similar. And that was his that was his mentor. Hey, you know what? <laughs> and so, some of y'all are not gonna like this, and we kind of talked about this. If we swap coaches, he's going to Super Bowl. You give me Sean McVay with this team right now. It's a wrap. Even with, even, with the talent, team. even with the talent we have right now. Sean Payton, a lot of coaches would win with this team. Leave Max says, should have cut Jimmy and got a bridge quarterback to man- mentor Lance. Would have saved a lot of money that could have been invested in other parts of the team. Yeah, that's what we were saying in the offseason. That's what we were saying. <laughs> Just get a bridge quarterback. You know what I'm saying? Colt McCord. <laughs> you can't you can't do what they did. Salah, uh, Salah says, is there an example in this regime where sitting rookies played out well? Is there any merit to the strategy? Please ask Kyle. Yeah, which rookie sat for a long time and then came in and played well? Which one? Who did that? Who did that? Um, the last one was like Kaepernick, I guess. I mean, Bowman, Bowman sat for a year. Uh, I can't think of any recent. You know, yeah, saying, it's been a while. Uh, and you know, but man, listen, he just got to get better, man. Just, just, and he just looked so nonchalant, like you know. <laughs> well, here's what James says: Kyle can be cocky because of his contract. He's guaranteed to get paid, even if fired, just like Lynch. It looks like he's coaching to get fired. Yeah, that's. I mean, I I don't know about Ooh, the last part, but hey, um, that's no, your perception. Think about that, no offsets. Though. No offsets in the contract. So again, what that means is if the Niners fire him and he gets a job somewhere else, uh, it, um, the Niners have to pay him what they had to pay him, and the new team has to pay. So he gets paid double. It's almost, it's almost like better if the Niners fire him. So what the Niners need to do is trade him and his contract. Like Ooh. if he's, the, you got to take the contract too because we don't want to pay the contract. That that's almost the Niners can't fire Kyle Shanahan. They could trade him. They could trade him. Although he's losing so much, is he even worth anything with that contract? Who wants to pay but Kyle? Nah, Tanner, you know, that's that make my stomach hurt to even think about that. Like, damn, like for real. So, so that's, what, that's what you might be doing to us. But bro? at the same time, that's that that's a billionaire's problem. And if that's the only reason to keep Kyle Shanahan, your problem. Fire him and he, and and pay him oh. and pay someone else. Because you know the Niners have at times been paying three quarterbacks, three coaches at once. There was yeah, a time right. they were paying Harbaugh, <laughs> Tom Sula, and Chip Kelly. And all the same time, all the same time. Yeah. So do yeah, it, yeah. Jed. And yeah, yeah, and, 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 and back to back to back too. Exactly. Yeah. No reason not to. You have you're you're worth three billion dollars. Grant and Kev, awesome duo. Hope you both are good. And thanks for speaking the truth. Thank you. What's going thanks. on? Oh, Aaron, what's up, Aaron? We can hire Salah after the Jets scapegoat him. He's only one game behind the Niners right now. You know what? Speaking of uh, Salah. So, like, somebody said the other day that, uh, oh, he, he, he's so great, but he's not doing well right now. Hey, at least he was the leader of men. I guarantee you, if, look, if Soleil was a head coach and Shanahan was the person that offered the coordinator, it would be a much better shape. Yeah, he's a leader of men. Also, he's positive and he's a teacher. He he actually right. gets development. The, the, the Jets have the youngest team in the league right now. Compare them to the 2017 Niners. When Shanahan was in his first year as a head coach, he started off 1-10. Salah's two and six right now. So we'll see what, Brian what happens. Hoyer. Yeah, Brian Hoyer. Brian, the Brian Hoyer experience. Kyle is holding back, developing all the rookies. So if he so he, he if he's still coach next year, he has a new excuse for losing. Oh, so next somebody year. Somebody else just said that. That's twice yeah. now somebody said right. that. <laughs> right. So he's actually setting himself up to lose. Damn. John, thank you. Do you think Jimmy G's season in SF is over? No, I think he's starting this weekend. That could be hey, the end, hey. though. And you know what? I'm, I'm going to speak to that uh, as you sports talk. I mean, why? Because as so much as I love Trey Lance, I want to see him. I'm not going to throw him out there right now to them boys coming in off, 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 a, off a loss. You know what I'm saying? Let Jimmy go out there. Although the Jaguars just gave Josh Allen hell. Oh, man. Right. 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 <laughs> so, yeah. And like I said, let Jimmy go out there and have one more shot to, you know, show the world who he is. Tom Bueno has the quote of the year from Trent Williams. Our list of wrongs aren't that long. 
Ooh, famous last words. Famous last words. He said that a couple what? weeks ago, Trent Williams. He said that before they lost to the Colts. Okay, you know what? They're not that long, but but the ones you got on there carry a whole lot of weight, homeboy. Can't stop the run. Can't tackle. Can't cover. Uh, lead the league in defensive pass interference penalties. Can't force turnovers on defense. Turn the ball over a ton on offense. Uh, no identity on either side of the ball. Um, no leadership. Those I think the Niners' heavy. list of longs this season are pretty freaking long. Those are pretty heavy. Yeah, They're pretty heavy. Long, yeah. Luis, thank you very much. Master J says, Grant, your rant after the Seattle game was classic. The field goal with the punter. Yeah, that was that was. I was in my bag on that one.